Hello, netizens. This is a uh, this is a video, just a quick one, to show you how to replace a keyboard on a ThinkPad X201. The process is quite similar for an X200, an X2200, uh, an X220, and the X210, which is a unofficial Chinese modded model with the modern specs, but enclosed in the same shell. So what you're going to need for this is a keyboard. You're also going to need a screwdriver. Just the standard Phillips head screwdriver. It's a marvelous invention, easy to use, easy to buy. Order now. And um, yeah, so that's about it. So if your computer is turned on, you obviously need to turn it off. Hopefully you know how to do that. Then you're going to close your computer flip it over and then you're gonna wanna take out the battery now I mean you could go the full safe route and wear an anti-static wrist rest wrist strap um I don't see any point for that but you do have to take the battery out for one thing it's just safer that way and you have to do it anyway because one of the screws that we need to undo is actually under the battery. So let's begin. So the screws that you need to undo are these screws that are labeled with the keyboard symbol right there. The camera could focus. There we go. So these particular screws that have the keyboard symbol, not necessarily the wrist rest symbol, those are the ones you need to unscrew. You don't need to unscrew anything else. You don't need to remove the hard drive screw or the RAM screws. So let's just get to unscrewing the keyboard screws. Don't lose the screws. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't put your screws on bedding where they can easily get lost if you just shake it up a little. Right, so we've removed all the keyboard screws that I still haven't lost. I just lost one more of them. So there you go. So now what you need to do is flip over the computer without putting the battery in. Just open it and then you have to press down on the keyboard and slide it up and there you go you've removed the keyboard now you can just pull it back out like this and then there'll be this connector right there what you want to do with that is just pull it by the tab right above the connector towards the screen you pull it and with a bit of force and it snaps off and there you go Then you just take your existing keyboard, well rather your new one, hopefully not broken one, and you plug it back in again with this yellow tab facing towards the screen. So just like so, be careful with the connector, and there you go, Make sure it's all in there nice and snug. Um, the getting the keyboard back in is a bit tricky. You want to slide it in towards the screen, then plop it down, press it down, and move it towards yourself or towards the touchpad and the wrist rest. After that, you want to close the computer, put the screws back in, and you're done. So that's all. If you've lost your screws, this is what they look like. Anyway, thanks for watching. 